In this video I'm going to show you how to set advanced permissions. I'm starting out on the home page of my team site and when I go up to the app settings wheel and choose site permissions it takes me to the site permissions call out on the right hand side. At the bottom I've got a link to advanced permission settings. When I click on that it takes me to a new page where I can set advanced permissions. So it's slightly more complex than the previous one but it gives me more functionality. So it shows me my default groups and for my team site I've got one called members, owners and visitors. You can see the permission levels that each of those groups has and they are edit which is for members so that's for people that want to add and edit existing content. You've got full control which is for the owners because they can do anything they like and finally you've got read which is for the visitors who you want them to be able to consume the content in the site but you don't want them to be able to make any changes. In this example I want to show you how to give a group of people permission to read or visit your site. So I'm going to choose my team visitors and click on it. It's going to take me through to the group. You can see at the top there it says my team visitors. I'm in that group. What I want to do is add a group of salespeople to that group. So I'm going to come up here and choose new and add users to the group and then I'm going to type sales into the box here and it's going to show me all the groups that have sales in their name and I'm going to choose sales team and then share and what that's done is added the sales team to my my team visitors group now if I go to the home page again just by clicking on the icon here in the top left and then go to the settings wheel and choose site permissions you're going to see now that the site visitors has the sales team as a member and they have read access so all members of the sales team can now read my site so in this video I showed you how to change the advanced permissions and add an existing group to the site visitors group on your team site thanks for watching and if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.